And I want to bring Candice Malcolm, Ontario Director for the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, into the conversation. So we spoke last week. Today we're talking now post-throne speech. So I have a whole bunch of notes I just took from that Q&A with reporters. But let's start with just your overall feeling, your overall thoughts from what you heard today. Uh, well, I think she came in and she offered a lot of things. She offered a lot of things to a lot of different people. So uh, she repeated her pledge that she had made to the CTF about uh, getting rid of the deficit by 2017 and doing that by reducing spending below GDP growth. So that was that was a good sign. And she also did mention the Drummond report. Um, but at the same time, she talked about a new slush fund for venture capitals, $50 million. She talked about keeping the 30% uh, Ontario uh, tuition credit, which was specifically recommended to be scrapped by Don Drummond. So, you know, she, 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 she does come with some good things bringing to the table, but then she also uh, is, is talking about her sort of big government ways. So, so almost like some confusion, some back and forth in what you heard from her. In yes. terms of that dif deficit and without sort of getting too bogged down by numbers and details, is yeah. it feasible? Is that actually doable? I, I don't really buy it. I'm still, I think for me, the big day will be the budget and to see exactly what, what she's going to do. Because again, Don Drummond said you have to reduce spending across the board. So she, we, di we didn't really hear that today from the lieutenant governor, and we didn't hear it from Kathleen Wynne just now. So, and interestingly, she's the, the, this is the same premier who just actually increased the size of cabinet. That's right. Yeah, as we saw, you know, her very first move as premier of Ontario was to grow government and, and bring in 27 cabinet ministers. There's only 22 under Dalton McGuinty, so she's already expanded government in, in her few uh, days as, as premier. I want to I want to hit on a couple points. I was taking notes when there was that question and answer period, more like the Spanish Inquisition uh, from reporters. <laughs> Uh, she mentioned two things that kind of stood out to me as an Ontarian. I think a lot of people would kind of hear that and, and, and sort of wonder. Tolls and congestion taxes. Where does that come from? Yeah, well, I mean, we did hear uh, Ontario is facing a huge infrastructure crunch. Uh, tr uh, Metrolinx is going to have to spend, uh, it projects $50 billion uh, in, in the next 25 years, and they need that money from somewhere. So whether it's going to be new taxes, tolls, uh, that's all going to be laid out during this session of the legislature. we got to talk about the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, canceled gas plants and this uh, scandal, which, of course, the, the Tories are all over today. We're going to talk with an MPP later on today. They actually came out with a rash of ads just this morning trying to link Kathleen Wynne who was involved with the government of course uh, back when this whole sort of boondoggle occurred she just sort of referenced that at the tail end of that of that Q&A she talked about how she hopes that you know all the leaders can kind of move forward get past this I, I don't know if I buy it. I wonder if you do. Well, I mean, of course she wants everyone to move, move past it because it's something that uh, is causing her government just a, a lot of problems, a lot of headaches. It was why they probed uh, government in the first place. So she wants to move on. She's trying to be transparent, saying that she's willing to testify and, and, and whatnot. So we'll, we'll have to wait and watch that unfold. But, you know, $230 million in a sunk cost uh, in a political decision to cancel a gas plant, it, it, it goes in with the whole boondoggle of this Green Energy Act and, and the government government trying to, to, to manipulate the hydro and the, and the power industry. It, it all needs to stop and, and Kathleen Wynne's smart to try to move forward but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Are you hopeful or are you skeptical at this point? I, I am still skeptical but I will say, uh, you know, watching uh, Kathleen Wynne today, I, I think she is trying her hardest mm -hmm. to address these issues. At least, you know, she, she's, she put out this commitment. The, the, um, the throne speech today began with her, uh, with with the commitment of the government to uh, get rid of the deficit. So it's it's on the top of their mind, and they're, they're putting they're putting that forward. So I, I I'm 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 excited about that, but I'm still skeptical overall. All right, fingers crossed. Then Candice Malcolm, the CTF's Ontario director, good to have you back with us. Thank you, appreciate Karen. it. Okay. Why do I support the Canadian Taxpayers Federation? Because families deserve a break. Because someone has to keep our politicians honest. Because honesty and hard work should be rewarded, not punished. Alone, my voice may not be heard. But together, our voices can't be ignored. 